front is a little collection of these are the reproductions uh, from uh, my um, digikit but these two are actual real ones tucked in the back because you know she's she's just starting out yes okay and there's a this is a little uh, envelope very cute to make it's a little seed packet actually I've got a video on that it may be out it may not be out yet but I've got a video coming so stay tuned if you haven't seen it and uh, these have a seam binding that has been dyed down the side and that all folds up like that and that is anniversary edition so there you go i hope you enjoyed her and now let's move along we have two more where are we doing on time we're probably rolling over into video number two i hope that's okay um two more books here oh that's stuck hang on oh tragedy no no not tragedy there yeah, okay i'm free now okay Whoop. okay here we go here we go this i'm going to call reader mckee reader this is the reader book okay so she also has a metal book plate and metal book corner and she has a key with some lace on the front and a beautiful spine dangle so uh, let me remove the spine dangle on her she does not have a key here but i did put a giant key on the front to make up for that this is a covered uh, spine a hidden spine and here is a uh, little cluster of buttons and she has some chains in here embedded with uh, the clip and her spine dangle. So a couple of uh, uh, chains go with her. And all right, let's take a peek inside her. What's she look like? Okay, so here we have, there's the look on the notepad in front. Those are very fun, very handy too, very utilitarian. I like that. Uh, okay, and here's your collaged front page and a little about this journal. Oh, let me show you her her danglies and her flippies. She's got lots of danglies and flippies on the side. And I use some charms and, and some beads and some pieces of jewelry for her and even a little bit of a torn material in certain spots. So a good variety of things. And those can all be removed if so desired. Uh, this is the, the reproduction of my watercolor. And that is, I believe, signed on the back. Yep, signed on the back. Here's an old receipt. From 1897. Here's a beautiful uh, antique cabinet card with this little pookie poo. Look at her. How cute are you? Her pretty little dress. Probably First Communion or something. Oh, no, not First Communion. Maybe a baptism. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and the fur. Very nice. Uh, some stamping in here. Victorian die card or uh, trading card. Some uh, ledger paper. A handwritten envelope uh, letter from the Western College for Women. Very interesting, yes. And um, what else can I show you in here? This one has a copper colored uh, feather and a key on the inside. Okay, hey, Hall Bear. <laughs> okay, and uh, here is a beautiful picture of a couple dogs hanging out, having a good old time together. Old pick. And here's a, a page. I think this was the from the front of the um, autograph book, listing some teachers. It must have been a Catholic school. Sister Philian, Philomena, probably Philomena, and Sister Anne Louise. I had Sister Mary Michael. Yes, yeah. She was very nice, unless you crossed her. Boy, you didn't want to get on her bad side. 1876, piece of ledger, very gorgeous. Uh, usually it was the boys that got in trouble back then. Uh, here's a beautiful, uh, very colorful piece of uh, currency from another country. Looks Middle Eastern, I would guess. Not exactly sure. Maybe somebody knows on that. Oh, hard to say. Central Bank of Egypt. Oh, well, there you go. Very cool. So Central Bank of Egypt. Very pretty. I'll just show you the back of that. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't think it was, it was never put in circulation. It has absolutely zero wrinkles in it. <laughs> Wish I could figure that, how to do that. I've definitely been in circulation. <laughs> Here's an old clipping from an old newspaper. And just fun things to explore. Uh, apothecary label. Oh, and here's her inside tuckable. There's a beautiful owl image here. Some sewing around this one. There's a uh, fabric spine. Little sticker on the back. This is um, on top is actually a book page. 
I just thought it was a, it was a, from a children's book, but it was just so beautiful. I thought I'd use it with all the words. I did some stenciling on the inside here and some lovely pages for writing. Yes. Okay, so here we have uh, a label from some wine, some Spiritu. Yes. Here's a receipt from 1916. Anybody from Spokane? Yeah, and this was an interesting color. This coffee dyeing came out. I have no idea why that happened, but it did. Oh, it might have been a, a yellow piece of paper under it. That's probably what it was. Sometimes if you layer papers of different colors together, you will get bleed cro cross bleed and you get some really cool uh, fun things that happen. Oh, everybody needs this homemade lemon pie filling. Yes. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Another famous uh, Isabel Jeans. Isabel Jeans. Uh, famous film extra, actress. Uh, hopefully she used her boracic acid and her gargle <laughs> from the apothecary. Here's a lovely receipt from 1889. And some stamps going on here, a little Victorian card. And here we have a key and an anchor in the center. Oh, this is a cool pic of a, um, a biplane. Yeah. And some maps, and here's a 1930 uh, canceled check, I believe. And there's some tickets in the corner. And this is a very beautiful Victorian uh, trading card. Yes, Hoyt German Cologne, very famous. Oh, here's a lovely little, I'm piling up affection for you. Isn't she cute? A little uh, Valentine card from days gone by. And she almost has, she looks like Betty Boop's daughter, doesn't she? Yeah. Russian bus tickets. Anybody, anybody going to the Kremlin? There you go. And here's some paper doll cutouts. This is a gentleman's outfit with several um, pieces underneath. A little collection there to peruse. And this uh, back uh, fold out I made with a bingo card. This is a vintage bingo card. I did a little sewing tab there to denote you open it and you open her. And she has two tucks. And I just put a multitude of fun little things in here to explore. And here are some dried flowers. And here is a library card. Uh, catalog card and just a fun little uh, journal card. All right, so let me tuck those in there. And so this book again, just for reminding purposes, is the McKee Reader, the McKee Reader. So if you uh, would like to have McKee Reader, check her out in the Etsy shop. All right, we got one left. We are coming down the home stretch. We're doing good. Okay. All right. Okay, so this one is a uh, Poe. Poes, Poems, and Tales, Lake English Classics. And I have this uh, beautiful pewterish style piece I have in a jewelry collection, and I thought that would just look lovely on here. And I thought it went well with the colors, uh, the muted gray blue and the silver uh, book cover, uh, book co corner thingies. And there's lots of little kind of danglies. The little danglies are all sorts here. There's some fabric danglies and little uh, all sorts of danglies. There's just lots of danglies. Okay. Oh, there's a dangly hiding. There's a wing. <laughs> okay. Um, and this one has a little bit of a different um, uh, spine dangle. This one is all chains and baubles. Yes, chains and baubles. And uh, Poe does have a little key on the side. Okay. And this one comes off. Okay. You can see the chains and the baubles. Very cool. And the back of this one, where she looks like this. All right, let's take a peek see inside. All right, she has her little uh, note papers on the side for extra writing, a couple of clips. I'll show you the picture there, okay. Her little note and her collage page front. And I put a little scene, a winter scene here or a, uh, like a coolish sort of scene with the blue, the blue. Here's a blue letter. I thought that went very uh, nicely in here. It's from 1924. Okay. And uh, here's a, a blue piece of paper, like a receipt or a ledger or something. Um, some days gone by. 
and uh, more receipts, Victorian uh, trading card, and a uh, prescription. Here's a handwritten, it's a piece of a handwritten letter, letter actually. It just tells you a little bit of the story, but it's an interesting story. You almost wish you had the first piece and the last piece with it. Here's some uh, just decor, some stamping, lots of writing paper in here. See all that writing paper, look at all the writing paper. Here's the interior notebook. Okay, well, there we go, get that pull. I don't want to pull you out that way. All right, here we go. Has a little fox on the front, very cute. It says notes. It has a seam binding on the back. And she is very pretty on the inside. Pretty paper and lots of uh, pretty writing paper to inspire you. And she closes like so. Gets tucked in there. And then we have the second signature. Here's an old receipt from 1919. Another old receipt from 1895 explore all those and here is Peter Peter came by thank you Peter Peter Green uh, nice to know you were here yes no we won't be buying any today not today <laughs> here's a little clipping again and here's a book from a page of the Odyssey and here is a cross and a made with love this says the tiny one says made with love all right, and this is October 1892. Yeah, yeah. All right, and here's Turtle Creek, Pen I think that's Pennsylvania, 1924 letter in here. Dear friend, you certainly took long enough to make up, to make your mind up. Oh, well, that'll be an interesting one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's getting an earful. <laughs> Back in 1924, here's a beautiful old birthday card. Um, poison. Oh, that's exciting. And here's a lovely, uh, looks like a wartime picture. Yeah. And uh, has a beautiful old tree in here. Cool, huh? And an old letter from 1922. Might be a, maybe it's just an envelope. Not sure. It might be just an envelope. And here is, oh, I love this guy. And I wonder where that was. Interesting tense in the background. But he looks like he's lounging, taking it easy. Here's an old Russian envelope here. Yeah, with Russian postage on it. Okay, in the back, um, here's how this one is decorated. Do, do, do. Okay, and she opens up as such. And there are two separate tucks here. There's one that is sewn, and then there's a bigger one. So I've just put a little tiny uh, journaling card here that you can just write things on. And here's some tickets in this one. Okay. And then I just put some miscellaneous uh, journaling papers back here. And they are stamped, but they're plain on the back, so you can do some writing on them. And this one, I tucked in a little, you'd make a real sweetheart. A little, um, oh, to Howard. Oh. <laughs> And uh, some more little writing papers. And this has all been stenciled on the inside. So I hope you like these babies. I think that's the last one. Yep, that's number six. So this closes up. And again, I'll just review their names with you very quickly. This is Poe. I'm going to call it Poe. Okay, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, poems and Tales. So I'm going to call it Poe. This is Poe. Okay. And then we had the McKee Reader. Okay. And then we had... A Path to Home, okay. And then we have Anniversary Edition, okay, with the little girl, okay. And then we have Notes, this is Notes, we get to know and love her, yeah, okay. And then we have Dickens Works, okay. All right, so I hope you enjoyed seeing these. I loved showing them to you. This was a lot of fun for me. And uh, I really, uh, I just, uh, it felt so good to make um, journals again. And uh, um, I want to make more journals. So uh, we'll see how this goes. And uh, I'm going to list them all at the same time because I know sometimes a lot of you are interested in finding or getting a journal uh, uh, and uh, they're hard to get sometimes. So I thought maybe if I put six out at once, 
may give you a better opportunity to do that. So crossing my fingers, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Click the notification bell. If you'd like to be notified of any new videos that I put out, um, my favorite tools and supplies to make my uh, journals are linked in my Amazon store below each video. And I have vintage digital kits for purchase also in my Etsy store, if interested. Um, I have a newsletter. You get a free monthly digital image for yourself to print out and also a checklist of journal supplies and also the note from the bookmaker for you to print out uh, uh, for yourself to use in your journals if you so wish. And I do videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from seven at 7 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, they are uploaded. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I... Um, put my podcasts out. So come and have a listen and hang out with me while I'm doing stuff in the in the craft room. You can find me on Instagram and Pinterest and Etsy and Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and come join the Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. We're doing weekly and monthly challenges. We're trying new things and we're talking to each other and sharing ideas and explaining different techniques and tips and everybody is welcome. It's a very one uh, fun, warm and friendly place. So come on out. Don't be shy and it's free. You can just jump on in and have some fun. And uh, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>